Scared of tight spaces? Eh, you'll probably be fine watching this. Get in there, get in there now! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 claustrophobic movies. I think that could be made into a pretty affecting story and, and you know, one that everyone understands. For this list, we're taking a look at films that may have a limited set, but still remain nail-bitingly tense and really make you feel like you want to get out of there, fast. <laughs> Number 10, Locke. It's Ivan Locke from the Park Project. Set almost entirely within the confines of Ivan Locke's BMW, this drama is a one-man show in which the construction foreman takes a series of phone calls that turn his life upside down. Yes, well, something's happened. I'll, um, I'll explain when I'm not driving. After his performance as Bane in The Dark Knight Rises, Tom Hardy turns in one of the best performances of his career, carrying the whole film with his compelling and powerfully desperate turn. The baby will be born, and Katrina will be okay. In the morning, she will be okay. The steel can of his car is the cage from which there is no escape, and for 84 minutes, we feel every piece of this man's life slowly crumbling away. The locks were a long line of shit, but I straightened the name out. Number 9, Lifeboat. I was going someplace, I was going into a lifeboat. An Alfred Hitchcock limited setting classic, this one sees a diverse set of battle survivors struggle to stay alive aboard a lifeboat. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. His name's sake. Initial hopes of rescue rapidly dwindle and the tensions rise within the group as each member's backstory and history are aired with no place to hide. It's a plot that's been done a lot since, but this one came out during World War II, so the sense of hopelessness and desperation felt that much more genuine. A good deal of our food's been ruined. Three out of the four water breakers have been smashed. Inspired by a John Steinbeck story, this adventure drama is a fascinating look at what humans will do to survive in a situation we couldn't possibly comprehend. Well, maybe they can answer that. Number 8, Cube. A unique idea for a movie, in this sci-fi psychological horror film, a group of strangers meets in a structure made of individual cubes, any of which could kill you for no obvious reason. As they attempt to navigate their way out of their prison, the stress levels ramp up as it transpires that anything can trigger the booby traps. And a thing for young girls. <laughs> Each cube is almost identical, and trying to find your way out is maddening, or more accurately, fatal, while the repetition of the cramped environment is just as much a psychological test as the traps themselves. Figure it out. I can't! I'm not dying in a f***ing rat maze! Number 7, Life of Pi. Hello! Anybody? Adapting a novel that was widely thought to be impossible to film, this adventure drama flick sees Pi attempting to survive on a lifeboat that he shares with a huge Bengal tiger. Come on! Despite taking place in the expanse of the Pacific Ocean, the boat is his only refuge, while at the same time being the very thing that could kill him. And then, once the tiger, dubbed Richard Parker, first rears its head, Pi realizes he can be killed at any point. Hunger can change everything you ever thought you knew about yourself. So, while the lack of wiggle room to protect himself means he's constantly vulnerable, this also keeps us on the edge of our seats throughout the film. I've lost my family! I've lost everything! I surrender! What more do you want? Number 6, Panic Room. Open the door. Please. My room. Definitely my room. For this thriller, revered director David Fincher was inspired by real-life stories of panic rooms, which seems like the perfect material for big-screen adaptations. Mom, get the f*** out of my house. Fuck. Get the f*** out of my house! In Panic Room, when burglars invade the home of a mother and daughter, the pair retreats to their safe room, or panic room. Tell me they're not in there. The plot revolves around the thieves' attempt to lure them out. At first, the room keeps them safe, but as the film progresses, it becomes a hindrance to their survival. Open the door! Don't! Don't open the door! The duo knows there is little they can do to protect themselves, and as their safety is wholly reliant on their environment, it truly makes for a terrifying concept and a suspenseful film.
Number five, the descent. Being trapped in uncharted caves would be a frightening premise on its own, but add the fact that mysterious humanoids are hunting you into the mix, and the fear factor goes through the roof. The mystery of the unknown makes for an incredibly eerie subterranean story in this British horror film, as anything could be lurking in the darkness. But it's a case of go through that tiny space or die here. With barely any natural light, the cave feels like a ready-made tomb for the group that ventures down there, and it's enough to put you off spelunking for life. Number four, phone booth. <clears throat> yeah. Isn't it funny? You hear a phone ring and it could be anybody. But a ringing phone has to be answered, doesn't it? Colin Farrell cannot move from a phone booth, and there's a reason. He's got a sniper trained on his chest, ready to kill him if he doesn't comply with the shooter's demands. Don't even think about leaving that phone booth. Now a hostage, protagonist Stu Shepard is forced to choose between his wife or his mistress, while the one he doesn't choose will be killed. So, are you going to call Kelly and tell her about Pam? Or do I have to? No! It's an incomprehensible ultimatum that's made all the more agonizing by the fact that the lead is trapped within the walls of a phone booth. <laughs> I take off this ring because it only reminds me of how I failed you. And uh, go. I don't want to give you up. I want to make things better, but it may not be my choice anymore. Number three, 127 hours. 150 milliliters of water left. Which should keep me alive till tomorrow night. This harrowing true story tells the tale of Aaron Ralston, a canyoneer who becomes trapped in a canyon by a falling boulder that pins his arm. No rescue materializes, and he's left with few options to save himself. Please! With the use of a home video camera to document the incident, we're thrust right into the shoes of Ralston. There is nowhere to go, and the isolation he endures makes us a witness to the deterioration of his mental state as he comes to terms with what he has to do in order to survive. This rock. This rock has been waiting for me my entire life. Number two, Das Boot. Sprengwagen nennen die das. Alles Leute von unserem Boot. A classic piece of filmmaking. This epic war film expertly portrays the ultimate futility of war as the crew of a German U-boat does whatever it takes to survive, yet achieves none of their objectives. Unterseeboote versenken im Atlantik elf Handelsschiffe und einen Zerstörer. As the condition of their sub begins to worsen, the individual and ideological differences of the crew are exacerbated by the cramped proximity. Other than running away, there are few countermeasures to repel an attack, with the sub feasibly being a giant metal coffin for them all. The German flick is a somber, intelligent drama in which the relationships are just as fragile as the underwater craft they're set in. Before our top pick traps you in a box, here are a few honorable mentions. Eleven guilty, one not guilty. Well, now we know where we are. Boy, oh boy, there's always one. <laughs> This is freedom. This is Pandora. Oh, Pandora. Pandora. Number one, buried. Yes, 911. Hello, I'm buried. You have to help me. You have to help me. I can't breathe. The entirety of this Ryan Reynolds film takes place inside of a coffin. If you buried in a coffin, where are you calling me from? Uh, uh, from a cell phone. There was an old cell phone in the coffin. Although this may sound like a limited setting for a film, it allows the audience to create their own tension and terror throughout their interpretation of what is happening away from the main character. Hello. Hello, who's there? Is this Paul Conroy? Yeah, 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 it's Paul. Who are you? Kidnapped and held for ransom. Five million money to nine, nine p.m. or Tuesday. Buried like dog. U.S. authorities attempt to locate Reynolds' location throughout the film, but his makeshift tomb soon gets even tighter as distant explosions cause the box to fill with sand. Oh my God. Our heart rate flies up as his chance of rescue runs thin, and things worsen as we see that his life is out of his hands 
and were taken through the full spectrum of emotions. I'm a civilian truck driver for Creston, Roland, and Thomas, and I've been taken hostage somewhere in Iraq. I need one million dollars by nine o'clock tonight, Baghdad time, or I'll be left to die here in this coffin that I'm buried in. Do you agree with our list? Do not lose it. What films made you want to never go into a cupboard again? For more tense top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Thank you.